Hi, my name is Justin Inman, and welcome to Oshkosh 2013. I'm here with the Teen Flight program with its uh, second RV-12 project. We're, we operate out of Portland, Oregon area and the, um, right at the Hillsborough Airport. So this airplane was built from September of 2011 through every Saturday, six hours every Saturday through the last two years, and we just finished it early in June this year. We got the phase one flown off, got it painted just in time to make it to Oshkosh. So this plane is the second teen flight airplane. The first one was started in September of 2009 and it was finished also in two years and was um, completed in the spring of 2011. They took a summer off and then started in on this project. So the program, Teen Flight, is a uh, side program of the Area Science for Kids organization. which Mr. Van Grunsven talked to the founder of that program a couple years ago about starting a program like the Teen Flight program as a next step for the kids that had gone through the Airway Science for Kids program to be able to pursue their interest in aviation and have a learn a different aspect about building. And Mr. Van Grunsven and the, um, the main benefactor of the program, Ted Millar, began talking about this and in 2009 they began the first airplane build. So some of the things that are special about this airplane it has a, it's a normal RV-12, but it has all the options in it. It has a Rotax 912 ULS engine with a 72-inch Cincinnati carbon composite propeller. Its wings do come off. We can store it on a trailer, which we don't do, but if you wanted to, you could. It's uh, the D-1000, the Skyview system, and it has a bunch of other features. It has an SL, a Garmin SL40 comm radio in it, and it has, uh, it's equipped with a two-axis Dynan autopilot along with um, wingtip nav strobes and a landing light in the right wing along with wheel fairings. The way it's set up with the en engine monitoring system and the, the GPS it ties into it and you get a um, the option of having three different pages once it loads here you can have your primary flight display along with an engine monitoring system and a moving map. The moving map, with the RV-12, you get a subscription to lifetime updates for the aircraft database. So you can see here how you have all, all three screens. Over on the right is the moving map display with the GPS. and It'll give you airspace. It'll also tell you airports. And it'll give you traffic through the MODIS transponder. The engine monitoring system, it gives you all of your gauges needed for operating the Rotax 912 engine safely. It, every, with the RV-12, this avionics package comes with most of the limitations already pre-programmed, so you don't have to set operating limitations. Over here we have the main PFT page, and it puts your standard six-pack of instruments into a, into a nice condensed format. It has the option of having synthetic vision, which is turned on right now and a G-meter as well, instead of an HSI. All right, we're gonna do a walk, walk around inspection of the airplane, so right here we have the, the wing root. Since the wings are detachable, so this seal is very important that it gets a, um, a gap. There is a gap between the, the skin and the fuselage, and so we put this seal right there. The leading edge of the wing is riveted onto the ribs, and right here you see it's riveted with flush rivets, countersunk CS44 type rivets. And, the rest of the wing is primarily LP4-3s and the main spar gets ribs riveted to it and then the skin goes over the top and everything's pre-punched and pre-drilled to size so all you have to do is just stick the rivets in there and pop them. The stall warning horn, it's a little switch that's wired with a piece of metal that flops up against it to turn it on and off. Pretty simple design but it works great. The the wingtip is something of an engineering marvel. And you can looking down here, it's perfectly curved, and it's a it's not a straight line either. It has a twist in it, and each of these pieces already comes pre-manufactured. All you have to do is bend these little tabs to a certain angle, and they should all line up and fit. And this is the lighting kit. It's a, an extra feature that you can purchase to add to the RB12. It comes with the Pulsar Aero LEDs, strobes, and position lights on a fiberglass fairing that is glued and riveted to the wing. The 
One of the key features of the RV-12 is its full span flapperon, so it, it functions as a flap and an aileron. They move independently of each other on both wings as an aileron does, but they can also be drooped down to provide the action of a flap. It really helps on final approach because this airplane is so clean, you normally come in with about 20 degrees. It has three notches of manual flaps in the cockpit, and so you just push the button until it latches and you're in your detent. The tail cone, just like the wing, everything comes pre-manufactured. You just rivet it together and it's a monocoque construction, so it, all of those um, vertical lines of rivets you see each represent a bulkhead. This little rivet right there, that's a that's the static port. And it's actually a pop rivet with a mandrel punched out of it. And it works just great. Another feature of the RV-12, like the full span flap runs, is the stabilator. Unlike a uh, normal aircraft with a horizontal stabilizer plus an elevator. This has everything combined. It's operated with a little mixing box as you can see when I move the control surface. The seatbelt's a standard five-point harness like in most RVs. It is the shoulder straps are hooked to these the lugs back there which actually help hold this bulkhead and the forward fuselage section to the tail cone. The crotch strap is attached down under underneath the floor panels and the side straps are attached down to um, points that are on the floor of the fuselage and are um, riveted into the center section. So. Getting out is as easy as getting in. All you have to do is stand up, hold on to the roll bar, put your, move your left foot out to the wing, stand up on it, move your right foot out to the wing, put your left foot on the step, and then just step to the ground. So if, if you would like to get involved with the Teen Flight program, Teen Flight 3 is rumored to be starting this fall. Um, go to airwayscience.org and find an application, send in the application to the Airway Science for Kids board. It is an experience of a lifetime. Fill out a forum and register and who knows, you too might be able to build an RV-12.